Hey, John from B2Web taking a look today at the My Resume theme by Elegant Themes. Uh, I really like this online resume theme and um, we're going to take a look at the front and the back end and I'll show you briefly how you set this up. So taking a look at this, you'll see at the top here, we have a nav bar. We've got uh, the main resume page, the contact page, and the connect page. The connect page is cool. It uh, allows uh, you to basically integrate with all of your uh, social media properties. Contact page is nice. You get an a easy contact form. But the bulk of this uh, theme is here. You can add other pages such as uh, reference letters or any other materials that you think is uh, relevant to your um, to your resume package. Uh, you don't have to have a portfolio. This, you know, obviously for a lot of jobs you don't have portfolio uh, and an online resume is not restricted for um, artists who have portfolios. You can maintain a, a professional online resume for pretty much any industry and type of work. The setup of this is a little bit different. Each of these sections here, so this objective section, is its own page. Okay, and everything is controlled with this particular theme with pages, not posts. So for objectives, you create a page. For experience, you create a page. You can use short codes, and uh, there's uh, help once you get a once you get membership with Elegant Themes on using short codes. So you can create the professional uh, bullet points uh, throughout your throughout your resume. So I strongly recommend that. And then education here, it's another page. And how you control which pages form the bulk of your resume here in these sections, it's done through what is called the ePanel. So let's take a look at the back end and see how we set this up. So I'm in the dashboard here. I've installed the theme. It's installed under the appearance themes. And then you just go to the install tab and, and install it in the usual fashion. Now, um, so you're going to dictate what shows up on your resume through what is called the Elegant Themes ePanel, and that's under Appearance and then My Resume Theme Options. And there's not a lot to control here, so that's good. It's very simple. You can upload a logo if you have a, you know specialized graphics for your name. Favicon color scheme, you can choose from uh, five color schemes. If you're going to use a portfolio or gallery, you can uh, enhance it with the jQuery. Okay, so now we have two different sections that look really the same here. We have excluded pages from the nav menu, and then we have include pages in the resume. What if you want? This is where each page is going to form a section on the resume, and this is where you indicate whether you're going to uh, include those there. So these are, I haven't set up particular pages for resume for this demo, but let's say I wanted just these three sections. You can see you just click it. A check mark means it's included. So those checked marks will form these sections. And that means that the contact page would not. And then we can control what shows up on the nav bar with this section here. And so we'll have a contact that's an actual con a new page. So that's it's very simple. Um, I hope I explained it properly. You just have to toy around and, and probably by trial and error you'll figure it out. But that's how you format and set up this resume. Uh, uh, website through WordPress. Adding a page is really simple. You just go to pages and add a new page. And I'll just show you a couple of cool little features here that come with Elegant Themes. I'm going to just expand this slightly. Here we go. This is your content area. So if you did a, if you wanted to have an objections objective section, you do that, type your objective. And you also have these cool short codes that you can include here. You can have uh, um, insert particular types of boxes. So you can create a shadow box or a warning or download or bio box. Input your content here and then put that in there and it'll display in a you know, different color and look really cool. And you can also create uh, particular buttons if you want to uh, add buttons to your website. And then you have this add author bio. I'm not sure if you can add an author bio to a resume site given that your resume really is your full bio. But um, these aren't easy to see on the face of it, so I just wanted to bring those to your attention. If you want to create that connect page, remember that uh, social media page 
right here, this is uh, this, that's done just by changing the template. So scroll down, go to page attributes, under template, you choose the connect page. And that's it. Now you're going to have to arrange your connect as well uh, through the widget panel. There's a ET or Elegant Themes Connect widget and you put that in there. And you're going to have to configure it with your various social media platforms. Once you have all your sections done and you've uh, uploaded your logo and your contact page, you are good to go. You have an online resume. I hope this uh, brief overview slash tutorial of the My Resume uh, helps you get started. Uh, I, I think it's a great looking online resume. And uh, you not only that, when you when you buy a license for this one, you also get a license to all the other Elegant Themes, WordPress themes as well.